Coming up next, why lifting cadence matters. Michael Wolf, coach at Barbell Logic. We know when we get new clients, they often try to go too fast in the lifts. They get the bar on their back, it's heavy. Like, I just wanna get this thing over with. And one of the things I'm always trying to teach my clients is to, in the descent of the lift, on the, especially on the lifts like the squat, the press, the bench press, not necessarily the deadlift, but on the descent of the main lifts, I wanna go slow. In the ascent or the concentric phase, I wanna go as quickly as I possibly can. So we're gonna show people what that should look like. And I start this out when I actually teach somebody how to squat without the barbell, like at our camps or seminars. So I'm gonna teach you how to squat, take your stance like you normally would, toes out. You put your hands together like you're gonna pray. Now here's the key. You're gonna to try to stay balanced on midfoot. And you're gonna do these three things as you descend into your squat. You're gonna go butt back, knees out, bend over. That's a lot of stuff to think about, three things. So I want you to go painfully slow into the bottom of your squat. Just descend nice and slow. Because I want you to feel your hamstrings get tight, your adductors inside of your thighs get tight. So when you're ready, go ahead and put your eyes down here on the ground. Descend nice and slow and just pause in the bottom. Just like that, put your elbows between your knees. Now, you can come up as fast as you want, drive that up first. Boom, just like that. Let's do it again. Go down nice and slow, feel everything get tight, pause, fire up. Good, just like that. Now, we can take this same cadence and apply it to the barbell, right? So we're gonna do that next. So you've warmed up now, we're up to 315, decently heavy, a weight that a lot of clients would be like, boy, I wanna get this over with. Give me a couple reps, let's show the clients what it should look like. Down slow, up fast. Down slow, up fast. Not gonna pause in the bottom. Take it out with authority, that looks good. Step out. All right, here we go. Nice and controlled on the way down. Perfect, up fast, boom, good. Midfoot, reach back. Good, walk it in, touch the uprights, just like that. That's the cadence in the squat, looks great. Let's look at the bench press. All right, just like the squat on the bench press, we're gonna go down slow, up fast, down really under control. Here we go, here's what it should look like. Down slow, up fast, perfect. Down slow, up fast, that looks great. Just like that. That's how we make sure we can feel what we're supposed to feel on the lifts. When we lower under control, we can make sure that the bar path is where it's supposed to be so that the concentric phase or the ascent, we're setting ourselves up to be successful for the concentric phase. All right, so a great tool to use, especially if you're losing control or struggling with bar path, is to slow down the descent, slow down the eccentric phase. Down slow, up fast on all the major lifts. So all the variations of the squat, all the major variations of the press, all the major variations of the bench press, a great technique to use, down slow, up fast. Got it? Got it. For more great tips on improving your lifting technique and getting lots stronger, click the link right up there.